does the ultimate in-car vlogging setup exist? Today we're going to find out. <laughs> What's up, people? Ron here with East Coast Jeep SRT, and I've been asked this question a lot, and I usually just respond to the person directly in the comment, but I figured, you know what, why not just talk about all the cameras that I've used or are currently using for what I do? So maybe it'll help somebody else out that's either just starting out or just needs something for their car for whether they go to the track, whether they're um, just out on a family vacation or whatever their reasons are decided to just today break out all the cameras and talk about what camera or cameras I use for this in-car vlogging setup. 99% of the content I do starts and ends in the Trackhawk or in the Jeep. Whether it be installing a brand new Blackview PowerMagic Ultra battery, the Bravo 124X, which we just got done doing, to finish our four channel dash cam setup. You can check out that video. I'll have a link at the end of this one. We start with talking about it here in the car. And over the years, I've been doing this for about six years, over the years we've gone through a ton of cameras. The very first camera I used was the GoPro Hero 4 Black. It was awesome, it was perfect, perfect to, for me. Audio right out of the box was really good. And I used that for the longest time until one day some dope left it in his shorts and washed it. Oh, yeah, this guy, this dope. And it destroyed the camera. It actually still worked, but it no longer connected to Bluetooth. I could never, you know, frame the shot and, and get everything set up using my phone, which is over here. And unfortunately, I couldn't use it any longer. So I decided to purchase the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Bam. And then I started using this. And then I realized why I hate GoPro so much because these things overheat real quick. They shut down. Or the firmware is buggy. It, it, they're at the nine now and the firmware is just, well, had been buggy as hell. So I went with this one and then I got frustrated with it constantly shutting down on me. Even though they seem to work out some of the kinks with this, I decided to get rid of this and try something different. Then we ordered the DJI Osmo uh, Pocket Gimbal. This sweet little thing. Here, let me turn it on. Check that out. Whoa, yeah, woo -hoo. Awesome, right? Great for walking around. Audio in the camera sucks because your, your hand is wrapped around the microphone. There's the mic, that little tiny dot right there. You see it, okay? You're walking around like this and it's muffled. So there was a solution to that. USB-C, external mic, bam, from DJI Osmo adapter. Now you can walk around, right, and vlog with your little dead cat on top of your omnidirectional microphone, and everything was great. I was like, wow, maybe this will be something I could use in the car. And then I realized that you can't mount it and have that plugged in because the mount goes right here. So then we're back to crappy audio. And also, it does have a uh, facial recognition feature where it'll follow the person that it's locked on. But as I realized, as you're driving around and it's starting to wiggle and wobble, it would get crooked and then it would stay like that. And it was very annoying. Correcting it in post was just a real pain in the butt. Decided not to do it. You can recenter the camera by tapping this button here twice, like so. Watch. Oops. One. There you go, recenter. You just tap it like this. Well, I hit it three times. It turns the camera around for um, personal vlogging. So we didn't use this often for, we never used it in the car. It, didn't, it never worked out. We went back to our GoPro Hero 5 Black. Not a bad camera for vlogging with an external mic. Speaking of which, you're currently listening to me and watching me on a GoPro Hero 7 Black with an external road mic attached. And this is what it looks like in all of its glory. You can check this out. I also have a Panavice uh, grip mount on there. Um, we have a little wind muff or 
dead cat. I mean, it's more of a wind muff because they only call these things, the furry ones, the dead cats, I guess. Not really necessary in the car. It's a directional mic. It's awesome for audio. But also, it's a GoPro Hero 7, which I upgraded to thinking that they worked out all the kinks on this one. They didn't. And right now, as we're talking, I'm afraid that this is just going to shut down anytime, any minute now, because it's getting too hot. So we have to hurry up. <laughs> then after that, DJI Osmo, that made the little pocket gimbal, came out with the DJI Osmo Action. There's a picture of it over here. But I dropped it and broke it. I was using it for the longest time because it had a front-facing LCD. The in-camera um, audio wasn't bad. I was able to plug this omnidirectional mic into it. I got good audio, never had a problem with it, and that became my in-car vlogging setup for the longest time until recently when we dropped it and broke it and smashed it all up. Picture over here. And then I had to go back to either the GoPro Hero 5 black or the GoPro Hero 7. I decided to go with the 7 only because of the updated features between the 5 and the 7 knowing that at any moment while I'm vlogging, the camera can overheat and shut down, which is a really annoying thing. I was about to replace the DJI Osmo Action that I dropped to get another one because I liked it that much. And then the day I went to order it, this dropped. The GoPro Hero 9 Black. Let me talk about this for a second. This, I'm hoping, replaces my 7 as my ultimate in-car vlogging setup. As of right now, it can't because the battery door is now on the side, not on the bottom because it has a built-in clip. As you can see, that's the mount is built in, right? When you take the battery door off, the battery is exposed. That's where you plug everything in. Not a great idea, but I understand why they did it. We are currently waiting for the GoPro Hero 9 Black Media Mod. Once the Media Mod shows up, we will put the Media Mod on. It has a built-in directional front and rear directional mic, and I've heard some sample audio on YouTube. It's not bad, but it also has a hot shoe on the side and the ability to plug in the Rode mic, which you're listening to me on now. Some of the features in this are unbelievable. The um, li Linear Plus horizon leveling feature is incredible. You can literally go back and forth with the camera and it looks like you're not even moving. Like the camera is not moving. It it constantly keeps the uh, horizon flat and level. It's insane. You got to check out some of the samples. I've been testing this for about a week. I really, really, really want to replace this Hero 7 with this, but we have to wait until Tuesday of this week for the media mod to get here. Once the media mod gets here, we will be able to um, mount this and start doing some in-car testing and see if this is uh, going to replace the Hero 7 Black. So, right now, and all these cameras, <laughs> we're on the GoPro Hero 7 Black with a, a GoPro uh, audio adapter, a Rode mic, and a Panavice mount. For me, Audio-wise and, and video-wise, it looks great. It does its job. I think in the end, it's all down to what you consider to be great audio, great picture, uh, what your budget is. Uh, I don't want you to go out. You can actually do this on your iPhone. Uh, over here off to the side, I have another Panavice mount with my iPhone mount. And there's two of them over here, as you can see, because just the one on the bottom left is the one I drive around with that's for you know framing the shot etc but when I want to do a live shot or a live video I use the mount on the top and it works out great it also is very very steady and you know the only problem with your iPhone is you don't have that ultimate um, stabilization that you do with a GoPro so it still gets the job done especially if you're parked stationary like I am right now so I hope that covers everything that people have been asking me about. What do you use? What do you recommend, etc.? Again, at the end of the day, it's what you consider to be the best setup for yourself, for your budget, for your situation. If you're going to be you know, vlogging from your car, 
majority of the day like I do or um, you're going to be walking around, consider walking around. You're going to need a, an external mic and a dead cat or something that you can um, rig up that will help with your audio when it's windy out. Um, I think that's all I have. If there's anything that I may have missed, please let me know. Comment below. If you have any more questions, shoot me a message. I In the description, I'll have a link for everything that I talked about. And if I miss something, please remind me and I'll find it for you. I have to dig up some of these other mounts like the iPhone metallic mount that I have on here. But I believe it's all in my Amazon records. And that's all I got. Before you go, though, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit the little bell notification down here, if you would. Click subscribe. Last but not least, you guys and girls all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.